All right, Corey's out at Great Hearts Prep in Maryvale. Uh, two schools this morning. Corey's making the rounds. Yeah, you are. Hey, hey buddy. Partner. Yeah, I know. We're knocking ourselves out today. It's going to be a great morning. Uh, these kids are up. Oh, yeah, there they are. These are the kids of Maryvale Preparatory Academy. Yeah, you know you love Maryvale. Thanks for getting up early, everybody. Oh, yeah. Come on down the road. We want to see all these smiles. Wow, thanks for the cool signs. And the good news, too, is we have Dr. Crystal Cruz with us, our headmaster. Thanks for sharing good all morning. your kids with us. Good morning. Good. We're excited to share them with you. They've uh, waited for this moment. Um, their 15 minutes of fame happened oh, earlier good. than they wanted. <laughs> well, we're glad for that. And I know this isn't part of your regular school day, but go ahead, if you will, frame out what Great Hearts is about. Yeah. It's not your av your typical school. What's right. happening here? So we offer a classical liberal arts curriculum um, to students here in Maryville specifically. And what do you mean by that? Cra so cl like classical. That, uh, we really believe in providing them with the foundations of things that have stood the test of time, um, things that will teach them to be Of what sorts teachers, of things? Um, classical literature books, um, just learning history of our Western civilization and how that has lent to the things that we're doing today. Um, so it's just really good for them. We know things are constantly changing and evolving, um, but with this uh, in their hands, they're able to really ask questions, think deep, engage in Socratic seminars, um, and really just unpack things as they unfold um, throughout our time. I love that. Now, and you know, you're right. That's not happening at every school, but you guys sort of had the freedom to do that here, right? Right. right. In addition to that, you know, things that are missing in other schools due to budget cuts and things, we, we haven't had to cut any of our special area programs. So our kids take foreign language, music, art, PE um, every day. And so they're just really immersed in the truth, good, goodness, and beauty of everything that a, a classical liberal arts curriculum has to offer. Gotcha. Well, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a great morning for me if we didn't ho head over and see Mr. Hall. He may have to scoot with his kids in a moment, but Mr. Hall, he's one of your first grade teachers, right? Yes, he is. He seems to be one of the handsomest of all he's, the teachers. He's pretty special to us. Yeah, he is. There he is. This is Mr. Hall. He married our daughter Haley, and guess what? It's Georgia, the world's first granddaughter. Hey, big stuff. Yeah, I know. That's Tom behind the camera. He gets that look from a lot of people. <laughs> Thanks for getting up early, sweetheart. What's the morning been like so far? Uh, pretty relaxed. Just been specials in PE or yeah. uh, in recess so far. Gotcha. So. You teach what grade? First grade. First grade. Oh, I told all the kids it was a half day. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> it's oh, a really? full day. Oh, well, yeah. you'll, you'll, you'll have done. that to deal with then later. <laughs> How's Georgia been this morning, by the way? Great. Had yeah. some banana pancakes. What a great life. Yeah, I'd like to live like that. All right, sweetheart. We'll see you again in a couple of minutes, I'm sure. Um, that's going to do it. we got another half of the school to see next time we get together. But as we always say, the more Georgia and Haley, the better. We'll see you that again. That was just fun, Cor. Cor, she's beautiful. She's beautiful Both family. of those ladies. Yes. <laughs> she's smiling. Those teeth. Uh, got the showmanship of a grandpa and a grandma for she's sure. She's precious. Good stuff. Uh, Love it. That smile. Corey's back to school at Great Hearts Prep in Maryvale. Hey, Cor. Yeah, you know it. We're walking. We're walking fast. That's right. We want you to see all the kids, all those big smiles. Yeah, give them a wave, everybody. That's what we're talking about. We are at the Great Hearts School here in Maryvale. Maryvale Preparatory Academy is the name of it. And it is one of the coolest schools we've got going. We take them from K through 10. And uh, the 10th graders, well, they'll be, they'll be the first graduating class as we keep on growing. And Dr. Crystal Cruz is still with us. Uh, how, how, by the way, how do, how do parents get into your school? Yep, so we have enrollment starting here in a couple of weeks. Um, we're currently still enrolling first and second grade classes. We still have spaces for this school year. Um, but they come in, they fill out an enrollment form. Um, oftentimes we have waiting lists, so we do encourage that early enrollment once we, once we begin that here in a couple of weeks. Um, but we take any kid that, that we can. Um, we do cap our classes, so they're a smaller class size. 
Um, we keep that ratio small to keep the learning going. Um, in our kinder through sixth grade classes, we have a lead teacher and a teacher apprentice. So that helps with the ratio, helps with the learning, and helps to support students. Yeah, well, I've seen a lot of uh, smiles out here today. The kids must really enjoy the environment. Do you find they like this kind of structure? They do. With the uniforms do. and uh, sort of more of a classical approach yeah, to uh, the a learning? Lot of, a lot of structure, um, not just with the uniform, but the things that we provide them with. Um, we believe it's important to give them that rich academic experience, but also just teach them and guide them in virtue and, and really focus on moral formation. Um, and so they really like it, and our parents are great partners with us and just guiding our students to to truth and uh, teaching them what is right, um, not just academically, but also as they teach each other. Gotcha. Crystal, thank you so much. Thanks for sharing all your kids with us. It's going to be a great day. By the way, you'll need your jackets tomorrow morning, kids. It's going to be a chilly start to your Wednesday. Highs or lows tomorrow morning just in the 40s.